Hello, I'm at the Erwin Heimer Center in Bad Veldsee. It is September 2021. So as we've had a lot of videos on this channel so far with some very big, beautiful motorhomes, I thought we would come back to what we were doing over the summer, which is small, simple caravans. And they don't get much smaller and much more iconic than this the Ariba Touring 320. This is a cracking caravan. This is an absolute icon with the steel construction of the frame. They are absolutely brilliant. Now the model we're gonna look at today is in German specification, but these are available in the UK. Price in the UK is from about 19,000 pounds. What's brilliant is the MRO is about 740 kilos giving you an mtplm of 900 kilos and that is up plateable to 1050 kilos so you're going to have plenty of payload and you can tow this obviously with a car with a towing limit of a thousand kg so if you are after that new skoda enyaq you can tow this not only is it light in weight but also because of the retractable roof it's also aerodynamic you can see the beautiful aerodynamic shape so again this is going to save you fuel or range while you're towing so enough waffle let's have a look at this in a little bit more detail we'll start with the exterior and then we'll have a look at the interior okay so this is in like a, a dimpled white they are available in a smooth silver finish, which in my opinion looks way more attractive. But the white is fine in this sort of continental style dimpled effect. And you can see it's got like a pointy nose for aerodynamic effect. We've got a big gas locker here. It's locked, I can't pull it out. And then you've got checkerboard here so you can stand and, and clean it. We've got a stabilizer hitch here and then we do have a light, a light on the side as well. Let me show you that. So as you can see, we've got the light. It's a one piece door, no window, steel wheels. Uh, looking around, it looks like alloys are an option. And then finally, there is a Dougal that's asleep on the AstroTurf. The Dougal does not come with the Ariba Touring. But what does come is if you look behind Dougal, there is a little exterior locker where you can access the area under the seat. So that is our exterior of the cute little Ariba Touring Familiar 320. Now let's go and take a look inside. Hello. So first of all, I'm going to leave the camera outside at the front, looking through the front window. But the reason I thought I'd bring you and look at the 320 is because this is the smallest one that comes with a washroom. I'll grab the camera now off the tripod and give you a bit more of a closer guided tour. You're right there, Dougal. He's all right. So as we go in, you can see, as I mentioned, you've got this one piece door. You do have a handy handle come towel rail on the back and we have some shelves on the back of the door here as well which is really useful 
as we go in. Got a little storage area there. And as I say, the kitchen is at the front of the caravan, which is great for your weight distribution. Let's have a look at the kitchen. So you've got a simple two burner hob. There's your cutlery drawer. And then we've got a couple of cupboards here. Now you will need to check the Ariba UK website folks to see if a grill is an option. Nice big cupboard here, but, oh my goodness, if we go in the cupboard, you can see the cupboard here goes around the corner, which is great for storage, but um, not so much for access. I'm sure things could get, could get lost at the back of that cupboard there into the corner. Similarly, um, the kitchen worktop here. If we look round here, there is the socket. Which is quite a long way. My arm is stretched to reach this socket. I'm leaning over the cooker. It's very hard to show you folks, but I'm leaning over the cooker to reach that socket, which is not, mm, not totally ideal. And then we've got the sink. Ah, uh, the good old, the good old Heimer chopping board on the back of the sink, because Ereba and Heimer are made by the same company. Ereba being the caravans, Heimer Mobile being the motorhomes. That is so, so, such a neat idea. Such a neat idea. And then we have a little bit of storage over the kitchen. Now, if I actually stand next to it, you'll get an idea of the height. So, right, so here's me standing at my full height. So you can see I've got plenty of headroom with the roof extended, but, and uh, so this is, sort of a fairly good height. And then the kitchen is at my sort of, just a bit lower than my waist level, holding my stomach in. <gasps> Can I breathe out yet? Yeah. I will have to get the tape measure folks and find out for you how high that is off the ground. Okay, so I've got my tape measure and first thing I'm gonna actually measure is the height of the kitchen. That is 30, 33 inches. 84 centimeters so the kitchen 84 centimeters off the ground so then there's your kitchen some useful little hooks there now if i do a you oh this is handy fly screen at the door always a good touch and then as we come around on this side we've got another socket here so you can put your kettle or your tv on here and then the fridge is here. Dometic three-way fridge. Obviously all the shelves have been taken out of this one. Now the one thing I will say about the position of this socket folks is that it's right next to the door. So if you are gonna use it for your kettle, there is a chance someone coming in the door might catch the lead. It would be better if that socket here was actually placed nearer the wall so that it was sort of behind the uh, behind this bit for the for the fly screen just just so it's not quite so much in the firing line for someone coming in and maybe catching the lead so here's your lounge I will grab my tape measure and tell you how big that bed is oh they shouldn't have put all their legs down on this uh, caravan. So you won't be able to use these as singles, only a double. And the double bed is four foot six wide, 138 centimeters, and barely six foot, just about six foot. Uh, six foot or 183 centimeters. So yeah, it's gonna make a fairly, it's gonna make an okay double bed. 
We've got a really interesting bed arrangement. Let me show you how it works. You remove the table and you have, and you have these poles that fit into little recesses in the, the bed bases. So we've put these two little poles in and they fit into those recesses. And what, what's interesting is that the, the bed bases are integrated in the cushion. So if we look at the back here, this back of this cushion is solid with these little buttons here to stop it hitting the wall. Isn't that clever? So all we have to do, obviously easier folks if you've got two hands, and all you have to do is just pop these in. And there, and there you go. Let me take my shoes off. I'm five foot ten and a half. And let's try it out. Let's try it out for real, shall we? Whoops. Some sunglasses touching, but no, absolutely fine. Absolutely fine for me. It is six foot, it is six foot long and yeah, I can easily fit into this bed. See, my, my tootsies are there and I can lay down. Yeah, cool. You know what, folks, the more, the more I'm, more time I'm spending in this caravan, the more I'm liking it. I really am. Right, let's put this back together and show you the rest of the caravan. There, so just before I put the table back, you can see you've got clips on the side of the seats here to put the poles, the support poles, and then you can see there the little U-shapes that you put the poles in. Right, let's put the table back and then we'll show you the rest of the caravan. Actually, folks, before I show you the rest of the caravan, I have just banged my head for the first time. I was leaning down to put the table back and I banged my head on that. So, I could give you measurements, but it's probably just easier to show you. As I say, I'm five foot ten and a half, and the, the solid top of the caravan comes up to sort of my cheek level. And, and then, of course, you've got the, uh, the pop-up roof here. If it gets really, really rough at night, you can actually pull this down at night. But, yeah, I did just bang my head on that because you can see it's sort of level with the front of the table and you are in danger of banging your head when you are removing the table. So that's just something to be aware of, folks. Let's continue with the tour. So this side of the bed, we have the wardrobe. Uh, yeah, that's all pretty standard stuff. We got the Truma heater there. So the old fashioned kind, but you know, oldie but goodie. Now I'm looking around, I don't see any blown air vents in this caravan. I'm sure that's an option. And also in the UK, you would probably also want to specify the electric element that you can get in these heaters too, because obviously then normally in Germany, they're just gas only in this kind, in this level of caravan, but you can fit, have the element fitted and then make the most of your site supply if you're plugged into the mains. And then finally, creaky door and into the bathroom. One thing I love about Eribas is this on the back of the bathroom door, they always give you two towel rails. I just think simple, but so useful. And then we have a fixed cassette toilet. What have we got in here? A little cubby hole where you could probably keep your uh, chemicals and loo roll and stuff. That's really useful. Under the sink, we've got even more storage. 
Oh no, on here, this looks like it's a water tank. Yeah, you've got a water tank here. That's a very, uh, a very German thing is water tank is almost always on, bo on board. In the UK, if you had an aqua roll, you wouldn't need that. You could free that up and make, make some space. And then we got tap here. So this does not have a shower put out that is available as an option, I'm pretty sure. Again, check out the website just to make sure. And then you've got your mirror here and this slides up. And then you, can you see folks, there's a popper attachment there. Right, so there you go. That's the mirror now attached to its attachment. So it means you can come into the bathroom. Whoops, oh gosh, I forget how, I forget how compact this is. You can come into the bathroom and do that all important. Hello, sorry, there you go. Uh, one thing to note, I mean, funnily enough, I'm not into wearing makeup. However, the lights are here, as you can see at my shoulder. Um, if you were putting makeup on, you haven't got a great amount of light to the mirror. Again, it's not, oh, not going to worry me. But I suppose you could slide the mirror down, sit on the loo. Oh, that's better. I'm sitting on the toilet now. And now I've got light on my face. So there you go, there's your solution. Sit on the loo and you can do your makeup in the mirror. Happy days. Right, I think that is it, folks. That is my tour of the Ereba Touring 320. And like I say, the more time I spend in this caravan, the more I like it. Yeah, really do. Okay, so there you go, folks. That was a little tour of the Ereba Touring Familial 320. And what a cracking little van that is. Like I say, it's available in the UK. You can also get it in silver. You can get it in the 60 edition. Two berths, it's got a washroom. You can have a shower fitted. You can have electric heating fitted. As I say, you can get it in silver. It's EV friendly. It's light car friendly with the collapsible roof. It's going to be more aerodynamic than most other caravans. It is absolutely superb. And then you've got the steel frame construction, longevity, iconicity. What more could you ask for? You can even put a cycle rack on the front drawbar. Absolutely brilliant. These are available in the UK from Ereba dealers. So check out the website. I'll leave a link in the description below. In the meantime, folks, I hope you enjoyed that little tour. If you did, you know what to do. Please give us a thumbs up subscribe if you don't already it just leaves me to say from Dougal and from me thanks for tuning in there did you like that one Dougal did you like it did you like it uh, did you uh, he never smiles <laughs> Dougal cheer up Oh dear, oh dear, poor little thing. <laughs>